أول شيء بدي أعتذر لأنه أنا خلقان هون وعربيتي مش هالقديني قوي فحاحكي بالإنجليزي إذا إذا لو سمحت So a quick question: How many of you have been to a National Arab Orchestra concert? Right here, here, here. Okay, great. So, just a little bit uh, about the National Arab Orchestra. The NAO is a 501c3 nonprofit organization that aims to preserve and integrate Arab culture in this country, and we do that specifically through the arts and music in specific. Um, we have a concert coming up this Saturday, um, downtown the Detroit Music Hall. The concert is called On the Shoulders of Giants, Arab Women in Music. And the, the theme of the concert is a, a, a celebration of the contributions of Arab women in the arts. So, and that evening, we have four female singers. We have Luban al من سوريا كانت تدرس بالمعهد العالي بالشام وهلا she's living in Washington D.C. she is currently touring throughout Europe and she's coming back for the concert. We also have Hala Malki in Chicago and then we have two students of uh, that will be singing as well. Um, in addition to the uh, the musical selection, we we also have an Iraqi poet Dunya Mikhail. She will be reciting poetry at the concert, and we'll have a female artist um, that will be showing off artwork around Arab women in music. So the question is, why is music important? Why, why do the arts matter? It's, it's a very sensitive topic within the Arab American community. It is a, it is a trend to put the arts on the side. It is a trend to not emphasize, to not emphasize the impact that the arts have had on our culture. The arts have always been a tool to share a culture and transmit it. For example, the oud. The oud is a specifically Arab instrument with deep Arab roots. And throughout history, we know that the Middle East has been a common ground for many cultures to pass through. If it wasn't the Brits, or if it wasn't uh, the Crusades, or if it wasn't some colonial power that passed through the Middle East, we've always had some occupying force in the Middle East throughout history. So, one of, the, uh, one of the many contributions that the Arab world has given to the Western world was the, uh, the Oud. And Min Oud, from the Crusades, the Crusaders took back that instrument to Europe. The Oud became the lute, the Western lute. The Western lute became the guitar, and that spread throughout the entire Western <laughs> continent into what we have now today with rock music and classical music. So we see a lot of instances through the arts of how Arab culture has been able to spread and been able to cross-bleed into other cultures. The arts are important because it teaches us humanity. It teaches us expression, and it teaches us a way of communication that we don't get to really do through mere words. في شيء اسمه طرب بموسيقى العربية ولما منقول كلمة طرب الكلمة شوي مستهلكة هنالي بس أنه كلمة طرب إلى معناها إلى معنى بالأحساس مش بي مش بي يعني أنه قطعة موسيقى لأن كالتو أو لفيروز it's not a genre of music as much as it is an ethos a feeling how many of you, when you listen to a piece of music and it makes you remember something, you feel something, right? The small faydus, the mashayah, the bzeeb. Hey, the noam in the talab. Okay, it's okay, it's okay.
Talab is one of the lost art forms within Arab music. We don't see it a lot. We don't see it properly uh, introduced. And this is one of the things that we do with Arab music. Another thing the National Arab Orchestra does is we, we teach, we educate. One of our programs is uh, we would go into schools, we've, uh, for instance, for example, Fortson, and we would teach kids how to sing pieces of Arab music and they would get a chance to perform with the orchestra. And what this does is uh, it's actually broken a few stereotypes. So the common, uh, it's one thing a lot of people will say is kids don't want to learn this. They don't want to learn about their culture. Or they don't, they're not interested in music. And what we found was quite the opposite. When we go into a school, we give kids a piece of music. Immediately their first impression is, my mom used to listen to this. Or my dad listens to this. Or we, they used to make us listen to this in the car. But over the course of them learning about the piece, and then learning about the historical background of the piece, historical background of the singer, they start to learn more about their culture. And in turn, when they learn about the In any case, to, to make it short, the arts are important because it allows us to connect with people outside of the culture. We are a people that like to look back. We like to reminisce about where we came from. We like to talk about what our childhood was like, but the only way to really preserve that, and actually we've been able to successfully preserve that, was through the arts. The arts allow us to pass this on to the next generation. The arts allow us to teach our kids some of the, some of the cultural value that we've had to build over the, next, over the past hundreds of years. So um, with this, I hope to see you all at the concert. It's going to be an amazing event. And uh, I guess I'm going to play a little bit, huh? OK. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you, Michael.